Hello everyone, this is I, your host, Mr. Kafuffles, and welcome back to some more of Attack on Titan 2. Of course, we have these stories and reputation with our friends. Oh, shit, didn't read that first bit from Thomas. Still, all those debriefings weren't for nothing, huh? I think we're better soldiers now. Now that, we're now that we've graduated the Cadet Corps, what do you say we check out, check back over the things we've learned before we officially join up? I agree. I agree. A typical debriefing gets underway. あ、俺はあれからエレンとアルミンの二人と交流する機会が多かったんだ。エレンの長所はとにかく根性だな。絶対に諦めない不屈の闘志を持っているやつだ。アルミンの長所は。頭の良さと魔剣気の強さかな。体力面の不安を補うために陰ですごく努力してるんだ。根性と魔剣気か。二人とも訓練に対する姿勢とか考え方に長所があるってことね。うん。そういう長所なら俺たちも見習えそうだ
正式配属までの期間中トン兵団と共にさまざまな任務に当たることになっていた成績上位10名の中に彼の名前はなかったがもとより彼が志していたのは調査兵団だったあの日からの<笑> Pardon me for a moment All right, let's carry on. Alright, now for a first mission. Oh, Alright, now Snagged some meat. Ah, uh, let's see. As expected from the two guys completing the dumb for competing for dumbest students in our grade. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, leave it to me. I'll grill it for us. Yes, <laughs> the perfect response. B, the perfect response. が話が分かりますね。私の分は多めに頼みますよ。大丈夫ですよ。ことで皆さんでわきましょう。土地を奪還すればまた牛も羊も増えますから。ウォールマリア奪還の前祝いにいただこうってわけか。よし、俺もその
you know what? Fuck off. I'm gonna go after someone else after dealing with you, so... Yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of Titans regrowing their limbs. <laughs> Especially on hard. But yeah, destroying Titans with the yellow will give uh, materials, which will be more useful for building new blades, new ODM gear. <laughs> Along with guns and their gear, respectively. And upgrading. Uh, whenever getting grabbed, rapid press Y, which I can easily do. But it will also injure you in the f or at the end once you're bro broken out. But you can quickly get out of it by pressing A for an instant escape, which is very much nice. Ah, yes, I love being covered in Titan blood. Ah, feels so nice. Let me take care of that. <sighs> I swear I know I turn it off. I'll wait. No, that's on me. Now that, that's definitely on me. Now we are injured and so we can heal. More Titans inbound. <laughs> Hey, buddy, let me take care of them limbs for ya. Mine now. <laughs> See you later, schmuck. Aid your comrades and eliminate Titans. その I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah, there is one more. The, uh... <coughs> the Colossal. I'm going in. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'll just turn down the music a bit. There. Now what the hell are you doing? What are you doing trying to walk up on that? You dumbass. 
Good, good. All right, the detection gauge. Basically, whenever it's full red and goes like that, that's full on danger zone. They will become aggressive and berserk like and completely start attacking like crazy. <clears throat> Titan attacking also accelerates this process. Zero signifies the danger zone's end. Yeah. Along with heightening their abilities, basically, the more times they are able to attack, run, and, like, do whatever, cause destruction. Flashbangs from either me or my companions are able to neutralize the danger zone. Get some crits. Good, good. He wants to come in? Well, let him. Ah, yes. Air jumping and hook drives. Basically, in a way for an instant kill. Practically, in a way. <coughs> Come here, fat boy! Where do you think you're going? Come here! Come here! Give me that arm, though. Mine. Give me them arms. <laughs> Come on! Come here, you fatty, or are you afraid? Are you afraid? He's afraid. He, he can't even come towards me. Come on. And there he goes. You gonna do something or what? He, he can't even do anything. <laughs> he can't even do anything. He's got no arms. Can't do anything. Man, this is just sad for him. He's got no arms. He's trying. You know what? <laughs> it was just gonna take forever for him to regrow his arms and hands. It, it was just gonna take forever. It was not worth it. <laughs> God. お前が倒しちまったのか。違う。
went up by three levels. S rank. And let's see, we got two Titan Crystals. Not bad. It's pretty good. Automated Artillery. Pretty good, pretty good. Number of rounds can fire and one burst goes up. I can't breach the Titan, or I can't believe the Titans breached that wall. Today of all days. Now we're in the camp. Basically, any companions that are going to be joining alongside us during our story, they are going to be seen here within the camp as well. All right, I do apologize for that, and just ignore anything if you might have heard anything in the background, brother was talking. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we can increase our friendships with anyone that we have along with us, along with raising their ranks. <clears throat> but this only applies to those who are with us. If it's gonna be anyone else, and they're not in the camp, then you gotta wait until you're back at base. So you can develop equipment, acquire materials, converse with allies, but you can- Oh, wait, right. You can't raise ranks, right, but you can increase their rank until it's ready to go to the next level. Okay. But you cannot move to a different area, raise friend friendship ranks, or deploy on scout missions. I get it. There haven't been Titans inside the walls for five years. Why now? Let's destroy them all. Okay. <laughs> you can now handle more equipment at the equipment supply station. So I now have the Spirit Blade, I have the Reinforced Blades, which I can actually make if I simply upgraded my first generation blade to the version 1. But I want to do the first generation blade Mark II. Since I am now capable of buying off the Reinforced Blade. And by looking at the heavy blade, ooh, ouch. I mean, the durability will go up, but I need steel plates. Scabbards, mm, not so much. ODMs, hmm. Now here's what I can only make so far for guns. The first gen gun, the hard cannon, which basically looks like a bazooka. The Krieger. I am not sure if that's supposed to be an iteration on an actual real-life gun. But if so, someone let me know down in the comments below if this is supposed to relate to an actual sniper. And the Jack Barrel. If this Jack Barrel is supposed to also represent another kind of gun, do let me know. But yeah, look at this thing. This literally is a fucking bazooka. Yeah, a firearm designed to pulverize any enemy who stand before it offers excellent firepower, but sluggish on the projectile speed and fire rate. I'm not sure how this is supposed to be sluggish. Well, actually, I can kind of see why, but I would prefer the Jack Barrel until you get up to King Barrel, because it's really good. I mean, especially if you're going to be earning all those rapid-fire, um, unlimited shots. 
then it's it's a must by far but let me actually show you uh, how firearms work so you are given currently two different magazines you are given the obviously regular ammo and scattershot Scattershot is basically multiple shot, basically shotgun. But even then, even then, whenever you're firing your normal shots, it's still like a, uh, think of it like a choke for a shotgun. One of the choke barrels. But for the scatter shot, it's more wide. <coughs> it still does a good amount of damage, but even then, it's not all that great to use as of right now. Just wait until you get the other ammo types, then you'll be good. <laughs> で、<笑> お前は正反の後衛部隊に入れ。し、しかし、私の腕では足で待といに。ミカさん、人類滅亡の危機だぞ。何てめえの勝手な都合を押し付けてんだ。悪かった。でも頼みがある。一つだけ。どうか。死な
<laughs> Unless I'm capable of switching them out now. All I gotta do is just... Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Sneak attacks. You can you can sometimes rush in front rush in from distance to pull off a sneak attack. Hold RT to bring up the telescope telescopic view. Pressing left stick to take him out or take aim. Once the target's lined up, hit Y or triangle to charge forward at your prey to breakneck speed. Once in proximity, press your attack button again just at the right moment to unload an immensely damaging blow. However, if you are detected for a significant length of time, the Titan will immediately go straight into Danger Zone. This is a high-risk, high-return maneuver, so use with prudence. So let's go ahead and do this. And great. Get rid of him. Oh, what? I heard that as well. I heard that. I heard that. Uh, uh, uh. Don't try and hide it from me. I heard it. While the jack or the main gun that you use of the first generation gun has the most amount of bullets. It's still not as efficient compared to the others. Smoke screen spotted. Green, assistance needed. These will trigger side missions. That smoke signal are prone to disappear over time, so do take caution and get them all done. Completing side missions will earn you construction signals. Other benefits include gaining access to a powerful new team member, the erection of item replenishing bases, and more. Here. This is how the scatter shot works out. Like, you see how all those shots just sprayed? That is what you get. It's gonna have to be one of these bases. Another smoke signal. There exists a variety of buddy actions. Look to your team members' icons to determine what type of buddy action each character wields. Swords will initiate launch attacks. Members with... Basically either... Clashing with you to attack another limb, either legs or going for the head, the nape. Um, a... <clears throat> the up is basically 
sending out a blue signal which increases damage, gives you infinite shots or infinite blade usage durability, and the red is basically destruction of a titan, and its cooldown is about two minutes. And members with a net are going to be capturing titans, which you won't be seeing a lot. Not many uh, companions are capable of capturing titans. You're going to be seeing a lot of initiating launch assaults, um, team, ta team clashes, and I'm pretty sure it's only Levi and Mikasa that are able to do a full-on rush of a destruction. While some others are capable of buffing you and your team, not many are capable of doing that. Like, Pixies, um, oh god, who else? Basically, any commanders, like, and your uh, instructors, th they are mainly the ones that are going to be doing that. While only Hanj? And, oh god, who else? Ah, oh god. Uh, let's see. But For now, Ymir will be able to use flash grenades. You won't see many people doing um, healing either. The member's icon can also change to a heart shield basically to flying to your aid and to destroy the titans. Also, you are not capable of locking on to Titan's limbs. You have to actually be careful as to where you aim. Basically, be careful where you aim because you might accidentally switch off from the limb you're wanting to try and destroy and accidentally kill the Titan like what I do at times with uh, Chaos, my main save. Which is quite often. Also, you really don't want to be taking a lot of time as well because that will also affect your grade. So let's go ahead, switch back to our main weapons. I believe I should also switch back to my... Uh, or switch over to the big blades when I can. Now let me show you the main effective use of this gear. That's right, we got the explosive harpoons. Boom. Now it will slowly drain over time, but you will always get more back if you complete side missions. Yeah. 
You are basically guaranteed of a kill. And for getting all parts destroyed. So you will not need to worry about anything. And quite capable of literally destroying multiple titans in the process. Like, if you're... If you shoot off one and there's like two or three in the vicinity, yeah, you'll be getting all of them. Yet, what about for the guns? You might be wondering. Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a nice little look-see. I'm pretty sure that all of you would love to see what they, what the, the guns have in store for some ultimate gear. Two double double barreled miniguns. Look at these babies. Four barrels of explosive of explosive hell to unleash on these titans. It might not be the destructive uh, level of the Bane Blade, but <laughs> this thing will shred Titans. Now we have the more interesting titans to deal with. These are bizarre titans. <laughs> My bad there was being called upon. But these are basically your abnormal titans. They are more stronger than, or, than the ordinary titan that you find. And you see the green? They're invulnerable and, well, not exactly invulnerable, but they they take significantly reduced damage if you do not destroy the green areas. Or else, at least deal with them first. Some titans are significantly, significantly stronger than most, and engaging them will bring up health and stamina gauges at the top of the screen. They also have weak, weak points which flash green, except challenge though. They boast much more health than your standard specimen. By reducing a strong titan's stamina to zero, it will briefly become defenseless. You can sap their stamina in the following ways of attacking their weak spots, landing a hook drive, Exhausting the Titan by forcing it to run around, for example. And these large, bizarre Titans will always have up to two uh, materials. And with a good, clean shot, it's dead. もういいだろう。絶対しちまおうぜ。なんだ。エレンたちが向かった方からだ。急ぐぞ。Oh, 
Got too cocky. So our two companions that we've basically met made friends with. Just as the series wanted and made it out to be. But yet... Ah, uh, yeah, see? Uh, oh, no. My illuminations. Okay, so yeah. It's always going to determine... <laughs> yeah, ass. <laughs> As well. Um, three more levels, three more skill points. Level 99 is your max level. But... Just wait and see until we complete the full main story. So I got a lot, of t some Titan skin fragments being four, a crystal fragment, along with another Titan crystal, some low quality rare metal, leather, I can now use Jean in another mode, which is good. If all my comrades are okay. So again, we can chat with everyone. Hey, you're not thinking that all your friends are gonna come out of this alive, are you? Get your head out of the clouds. I want to believe it. But I know it's impossible. Yeah, exactly. We're all potential fu titan fodder. Every single one of us. So how long do you think we're gonna last in this, huh? Okay. Still can't use it, so I'm gonna go into the here. Swap over my heavy blades. Now there are also sets that can give you special uh, effects. Like for having the heavy scat or the heavy set, this basically gives me plus three to my agility. And plus three dex if I had the spirit gear. And for horses, that will require me to go into chapter three or four, in which war horses are basically given to you for obviously. Uh, more 
of a faster way, but even then, using your ODM gear is still the best way to uh, move around with maneuvering. But even then, there are going to be some areas where using your ODM gear is kind of hard to use as there's not a lot of anchor points to uh, latch onto. So using your Warhorse is more of a viable option. But for getting more Warhorses, that's, again, way later. And with each Warhorse, you're obviously going to be seeing more stamina, more speed, and well, with stamina, that's obvious. And with speed, that's basically how fast they can move whenever you're sprinting with your horse. Anyways, uh... Can I get anything? I have over... Almost 5,000. I can now get even more equipment basically more blades. So this time, the Sturmmesser. Which I'm pretty sure that is German, but I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'll need to look that up. <coughs> um... I'm pretty sure the Reinforced Blade also has another route of creating another blade, but even then, uh, Sturmmesser, once I get it up to its second or third upgrade variety or variant, it's pretty good. Especially if you're also doing online and get like the 50 day, I believe. Because that gives you a highly reinforced, reinforced version of the Sturmmesser, which is, I think, the third upgrade variant. Now, let's see. We'll go with the reinforced blade version one in which the Reinforced Blade 2 needs B-grade steel and a prototype of super durable steel. Uh, can I make anything new? Now, of course, we have Shuzrumshid, or Shuzrumshide. I hope I am saying that right. I'm German, I should be able to pr pronounce it. <laughs> And Shuzromahaken. Now, this one I will definitely equip. Then the, uh, well, maybe. Maybe the heavy gear. But even then, everything has their own uh, way of upgrading, their own two paths. They can continue on with one path or move down to a different path much like with the first standard blade being the reinforced or the second iteration or second generation. We have to go help the other units. Are you ready for action? Yep. Let's go. I just hope we're not too late.
エレンたちと同じ班だったよなあいつらどこ行ったんだ<笑>アルミまさか見りゃわかるだろう全滅したんだよこいつ以外はうるせえなアルミンは何も言ってねえだろこんな巨人から丸見えの場所でおしゃべりしてる場合じゃねえ私らも食われちまうやめて二人ともとにかく目立たない場所に移ろうアルミン動ける I'm sorry my brother being weird お前ら休んでる暇はねえぞ巨人どもにだいぶ押されちまってる市民の避難はまだ進んでねえ今公園に抜けられたら大変なことになるぞうんでも気になることでもあるのかいあ、uh, let's see there's no sign of Aaron or the others いや私たちも見てないとにかく今は時間がねえ生き残りの兵をかき集めて少しでも巨人を食い止めるぞあなたは先に行ってて私たちも後で合流するからは壊滅状態だったのに後方にいる住民の避難はまだ終わらねえのかそうみたいだね俺たちで中英を援護して巨人を食い止めるしかねえだろうあっちにいる中英の班に巨人が近づいてる助けなきゃいけない状況みたいだね That's it Notice how I have these three as my companions? Yeah, it kind of feels weird when I. when my character doesn't know about them, but yet, for those that know, they know. Side missions will earn you construction signals. Yep, yep, yep. We already know. Let me bathe in their blood. Let me feel your skin. Hello, Marco. Right, right, I don't have that skill yet. I forgot who gives me that one skill. Well, sup, Marco? 
巨人を侵入させちゃまずい誰か援護を頼む Yeah, and also a lot of this grind for getting so many new equipment and gear. I will definitely be doing off or off the uh, off cam, basically, because it is hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of grind for new blades, new scabbards, new ODM gear, everything. I'm gonna be doing that off camera. For grind. And of course. Let's first go through this first. Migotoda, a cover. Sasgana. Jumin no Hinanga, Mada Sunday night. Toy. Ah, uh, defending people. So important entities will require your protection on the battlefield. If completely wiped out, the day is lost. Should a Titan come close to devouring one of your VIPs, a distress call will trigger, so get over there and be a hero. Now, as to what I was wanting to say as well from earlier, during the cutscene, some specific uh, resources will be needed if I were to play it on Inferno, but that's only when I beat the main game. And in order to mainly get those materials, it has to be on that specific difficulty or the one above, which I will not say. And these two difficulties are way more harder than hard by a long shot. Abnormals differ from standard titans in that their behavior cannot be predicted, with some targets only specific targeting only specific humans and so on, engaged in caution. I know Titans are closing in. Oh, Something like that, and then of course I'm gonna be rather screwed on my grade for getting a execution on a Titan. Oh come on, the other Titan got in my damn way. And for that, you die. Now these large blades are not really what I would prefer using. There are other sets that I would more preferably use. 
but I'm gonna need to do so much blind if I can want to get it. And that's gonna require me to go way far later into the game. Thank you, Ian. And I'm alone again. Huh? Ah. あなたが言えば私は何でもできる。やっと撤退命令が出たってのにガス切れて壁を登れねえ。だったら西川さん、あそこに群がる巨人をやるしかねえだろ。危ないな。ガスを補給できる。ただ逃げ回って残り少ない
mission completion. Destroying limbs is also quite capable of quickly ending the danger zone. I hate when that happens. But you know, since the final season uh, was out for quite some time, my good friend Nightside has been thinking about what if there was another DLC for the final season for a true conclusion? Do you all think that that would be a very good idea? If you do, let me know down in the comments of what you think. Because I actually would agree that it would make for quite the uh, interesting uh, idea. Damaged and I need healing. I need healing. Oh god, I'm I'm not going there. No, no, no. I already did it, but I don't want to do it any, anymore. And that's my twenty. And that's one. That little tiny fucker ain't gonna do shit to the base. Boom. Sasha. Oh yeah, Sasha is also capable of doing uh, captures as well. But that's only way later. Gotta head over to Connie. I also should equip my skills as well. God damn it. I, I completely neglected that. See, I got two in one. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Got it just in time, and I got myself another gear, or another... God damn it, I am out of gas. And from when I mentioned my skills, I should have gotten the gas saver, is what I meant. Fuck. Done. I know it felt kind of like a waste when I only fired one shot, but it's better to have a new one ready when needed. It, it just feels best. And 
number of Titans are spawning in. And an abnormal! Lovely! Let's kill it. This will take about, mm, about the entire thing. Spasming out like a rag doll. Sorry if I'm also not keeping track of the uh, game since, you know, I played through the entire thing. So I make it distracted. Twenty nine illuminations is not an S. What do you want me to get over? Forty? You want me to kill every single last one of those guys? <laughs> oh, jeez. I will return to those later and get S ranks. Oh my god. But at least I leveled up four times, which is good. Base reward, 3k, illuminations, 1240, medals, 1250, total 5490. And max total, or full total amount, 6180. Full rewards. All right. I should be heading back to camp now.
Yep. And that is going to end things here for now. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. So anyways, I'll take care. I'll see you guys later. Take care and have a good one, everyone. Peace.